Hi guys. Um, I got a lot of questions, especially recently, and uh, people are asking me, you know, people I know basically are asking me, you know, how do I deal with cheap clients? And um, this is something I, well, you have to deal with it all the time. Um, and there are multiple methods of dealing with cheap clients without uh, losing your profitability. And uh, I thought, you know, why not make a series of that and uh, you know have a method per video or something like that and I'm gonna start with the first method which I used which is basically let your clients let those cheap clients that you got uh, prototype on their own what does that mean I'll give you an example um, between 99 uh, till 2006 I used to do a lot of web development and um, uh, a client would come around a cheap client would come around and say you know I'd like a website and you know exactly that this guy is not willing to pay for a lot of time is there a car coming? yeah wait a minute is there a car coming? right I'm gonna take this path here so nobody bugs me. Anyway, yeah, uh, so um, what I would do, so th th that client, that cheap client would come and say, I need a website. You know exactly that this guy is not going to pay for a lot of, not going to pay a lot for his website. Yet still, you know, you want to give him a quality website. So what I used to do, I used to tell those clients, you know what, why don't you go on the web and look at the pages you like, or look at the, 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 the components of pages you like, and, and do that in PowerPoint, you know, fire up your PowerPoint and, you know, just build a simple layout or the layout you wish on PowerPoint, you know, put in, you know, on the left side, I don't know, the links to your subcategories, on the right, something else, in the middle, you would have some sort of content, on the top, you, you banner, and most of the guys know how to use PowerPoint and if not you can you know I, I, I easily taught them like within within 10 minutes you know they could easily use PowerPoint and and the stuff but like I said most of them you know, you know how to use PowerPoint so that was like a, a task for them and so a lot of this prototyping time where you you know you design something and then you go to the client and he says well you know I don't know I don't want that and I don't want that so you save all that because he does it on his own time and when he calls you, that is, he's done with his PowerPoint prototyping and all you got to do now is transfer or, or translate that PowerPoint into, you know, a website, HTML, JavaScript, whatever, okay? Another instance, another, another, another similar uh, example is basically, I also build a lot of uh, business applications, so basically calculation programs, uh, configuration programs, and here the same thing people will come around and you know exactly that they're not willing to pay a lot so what you do look, look why don't you build a prototype of what you want in Excel right obviously the Excel version is not gonna be like a full-fledged program but build it and so you, at least you got the layout and stuff like that and that's what happened a lot of people just built their prototypes in Excel and they came to you and now two things happened. Either you took this Excel prototype and developed it further, right? You added like, I don't know, some macros, some visual basic components, functions, and so on. Or on the basis of that um, Excel application, you build a web app or something else. So, but the, 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 the prime work, the prototyping was done by the client himself. And that saves you a lot of time and him a lot of money, which what cheap clients want they want to save a lot of money and still at the same time you deliver a top-of-the-line product because you know it's 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 not much time anymore because all that prototyping has been done by the client you see and this is what I this I find this is this this thing is not bad for two reasons first of all okay cheap clients save a lot of money because they do the prototyping themselves but again, it's also good for non-cheap clients because 
a lot of people have got like grand ideas oh you know I want that and it should do that and it should do that and once they have to prototype their idea into PowerPoint or Excel well I tell you a lot of that bullshit that they think of flies out of the window because they see oh you know that was that wasn't such a great idea or that wasn't a, a good idea at all and so on so and and the nice thing about it it doesn't cost them anything it costs them a bit of time but hey it's their application they're more interested in having that application than you as a as an external developer so i find that having your clients i mean where possible prototype their own applications be it in powerpoint for websites or in excel for business application or any other um, easily easily usable program i find that's a great help both for the client and for yourself and it saves a lot of money so this way you can uh, serve cheap clients and not have to you know uh, leave money on the table so that's like one of the methods i use to handle cheap clients so a lot because a lot of people say ah cheap clients I don't want to serve them well why not you know serve them but you know like let them do a lot of stuff DIY you know let them do it themselves you know let, let them prototype themselves I mean actually one guy he put everything he gave me he wanted an Excel application what he did he filled everything everything the whole it the whole layout everything was fixed all I had to do and he he knew a bit of Excel so he had some formulas and some calculations he already did himself all he needed was the automation you know buttons and you know if that happens uh, let that thing happen and so on that's all what he needed so you know uh, I allocated for that project specific time and I got paid for that time a normal rate but what what for him he saved a lot of money because I only worked on the automation bit all the layout stuff and all he did all that and cost him nothing you see so that's that's my that's my like that's my one of my methods on how to deal with cheap clients in further videos I'm gonna go through uh, more methods on how to deal with cheap clients and mind you when I mean cheap clients I it is not I don't mean it in a negative sense I just mean people who are not ready to pay huge amounts of money for a certain project